Teacher Strawberry. And today, we are going to go to space. Do you like my stars? The book we're reading is called Luna Muna. A real live astronaut wrote this book. Her name is Kelly, and she just got back from space. Luna Muna by Kelly Garardi, illustrated by Allison Wilson. It was the perfect night for a million stars in the sky. Perfect for a future astronaut like me. Time to come inside, Luna Muna, called Mommy. That's when I saw it, a shooting star streaking across the sky. I closed my eyes tight. I wish I could fly to space, I whispered. I waited patiently. Nothing happened. I opened my eyes. I was disappointed. I'm going to count to three, Mommy warned. She meant business, so I blasted off inside. Good night, Luna Muna, said Mommy. Dream big, said Daddy. I closed my eyes and tried to sleep. A bright light from my nightstand woke me up. I peeked out from underneath my eye mask. Hey, who turned the lights on? I asked. But it wasn't my lamp. It was my space helmet. I put it on. Something felt funny. Holy guacamole, I yelled. I was floating. Then I remembered everyone was still sleeping. Holy moly, I whispered. I floated carefully to the ceiling, then down to the floor, then up again. <laughs> I was getting the hang of this astronaut business. I was a natural. I did a push-up on one hand, then one finger. I pirouetted past my posters and cannonballed through the air. I tried to twirl with Rover, but he wouldn't cooperate. I decided to go exploring. Whee! I did somersaults down the stairs. I flew like Supergirl into the kitchen. My little sister Stella peeked in. You're flying like a bird, she shouted. Let me play. I'm floating like an astronaut, I corrected her. Go back to bed, I whispered. I floated right up to the highest shelf and grabbed the cereal Mommy saves for special occasions. This was the most special occasion ever. Then I quickly realized cereal might not be the best snack. It floated in every direction. You made a gigantic mess, said Stella. I'm telling Mommy. Just then, an idea hit me. Pow! <laughs> it was my best one ever. Follow me, I told Stella. I had a plan, but I was going to need to jump high. Really, really high. I dashed to the backyard. Count me down, Stella, I called from the trampoline. Three, two, one, blast off! She yelled back. I bounced harder than I'd ever bounced before. I floated up past the trees, up past the house, up past the clouds, up, up, up. I zigged past an airplane. I zagged past a spacecraft. I zoomed past the International Space Station. Then I was there. Luna Muna, the first little girl on the moon. I bounced across the craters. I twirled past a moon buggy. I followed old footprints and made some new ones. It was 
space-tastic. I could stay here forever, and I had it all to myself. Luna Muna, Queen of the Moon. Then I saw the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. Planet Earth was sparkling with bright blue oceans, deep green forests, and ribbons of white clouds. I tried to spot Mommy and Daddy and Stella, but they were too small to see. In fact, I couldn't see anybody. It was just me, Queen Luna Muna, the only little girl on the moon. I started to feel a little bit lonely. I missed Mommy and Daddy. I even missed Stella. It was time to go home. I floated down, 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 down past the space station, down past the spacecraft and the airplane, down past the clouds and the trees and the house, all the way down to my cozy bed. Turn off the lamp, Stella said. <laughs> That's not the lamp, I told her. We both giggled. <laughs> Space is great, and I'm still going to be an astronaut one day, but there's no place like home. Maybe next time, I'll let Stella come, and we can explore space together. The end. Wow, my friends, what an amazing space adventure. Do you have your thinking caps? Today, mine are these space stars, so I am ready to think. The very last page of this book has some amazing moon facts. The moon is very old, but how it formed is a mystery. One guess is that billions of years ago, something smashed into young Earth, and the debris from that big splat became our moon. Did you know there is no dark side of the moon? The dark side refers to the hemisphere of the moon that's facing away from Earth, even though it gets just as much sunlight. Humans have only ever seen that far side from a spacecraft. And let's read one more. These are so fun. Humans have left a lot of things on the moon. In addition to rovers, flags, and footprints, lunar astronauts left behind tools, equipments, sentimental items, and yes, even bathroom waste. <laughs> Leaving items behind made room for them to carry home precious moon rocks. On the very last page, it talks a little bit about the author of this book. Kelly Gerardi is a researcher and science communicator who is flying to space on a dedicated science mission with Virgin Galactic. Her daughter, Delta, is very excited to watch Mommy become an astronaut. And Kelly just got back from her Virgin Galactic space adventure. Okay, my friends, it's time to talk to Kiwi. Hey, Kiwi. What did you think about Luna Muna? Kiwi, I didn't know that you dreamt of being the first rabbit to go to space. Well, you can do anything you set your mind to. Okay, my friends. I have had so much fun going on another space adventure with you today. I cannot wait until next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're loving these videos as much as I love making them. Hold your head high, stay smiling, and be confident because you are amazing. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, my friends.